All right, good morning. So today we are going to have a look a little bit of artificial intelligence. Now artificial intelligence you might think is really complicated to do, but it's not. It's pretty easy. So we're just going to quickly create a sprite which will be the player. Remember, you know, we're just learning about how to do some of this stuff. So it doesn't matter if it's not a pretty bird or um, I don't know, something like that. It doesn't need to be anything. It can be just squares and circles. Alright, so that's our player and this will be our enemy. There we are. Here's our enemy. I'll put him there. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to have the enemy going backwards and forwards. So the way we do that, first of all, we'll rename these to enemy and then to player. We're going to use custom animation, um, custom movement, sorry. Okay, plus custom movement, done. Then we're going to go add event. Um, we're just going to... We're going to have him like patrolling a little area. And the best way to do that, you can do it a couple of ways. I'm just going to do this for convenience. So you just put it to say black line here. It doesn't have to be black. And so if he hits this, he'll go around and he'll turn back. So, at event, every X seconds. Say 0 0.5, then the enemy accelerate toward position, say 250 to sprite.x, sprite.y. And one more thing is we're going to set speed. We're not going to worry about accelerating. Accelerating can be good, but we want it to be exactly like that. So let's have a look. Okay. Oh, what happened then? Well, the problem is, is first of all, we need to change this a little bit. So we need to go on, uh, sorry, uh, enemy, on collision with another object, that object will be sprite. We're going to stop its movement. We're going to stop custom velocity. And then we're going to also, um, change this here. We're going to add another event, sorry, we're going to go enemy pick nearest, no, sorry, sprite pick nearest to, we're going to not do nearest, we're going to do furthest away from player.x player.y. So let's see what that looks like. Ah, oh, sorry, not player. Um, to enemy dot x enemy dot y. Let's check this out now. Let's see if this works. All right, so it's moving forward. All right, so we've got it patrolling. We've actually got it moving around. Okay, so it's just going to go forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Um, we're going to just change. At the moment, it's a bit small, so we're just going to change the layout. Um, the margins, I think it is. I forget. No, it's not the margins. It's the window size. So we're going to change this to say thousand, and change that to a thousand as well. Oh, width, make that eighteen hundred. Okay. So now let's. So now we can see that it's going backwards and forwards. We're going to get rid of these sprites. Just make them invisible, like so. So now it just looks like it's moving around, patrolling this area. Alright, excellent work. This is the beginning of our AI.